Welcome back, Agate fans. Do you know what this is? Give up? This is a Woodward Ranch Agate. That's right, a Woodward Ranch Agate. That's a ranch that's out in West Texas near Alpine. You know where all the cool rocks are. You can no longer rock hound on Woodward Ranch. I didn't collect this one myself. I actually picked this up from a friend of mine. I've always heard great things about these Woodward Ranch agates. This is some sort of seam, as you can see. It looks like it's going to have maybe some pluming in there. I'm not sure. It's kind of an odd shape. It's flat, you know, it does have the, the bumps on top. That's usually a good sign. In this video, we're going to slab this Woodward Ranch agate. What I'm gonna do is get this in the slab saw and I'll probably make them like this so we can get some nice long slabs. And that should be wide enough to make some cabochons. That's the plan anyway. Let me go ahead and get this on the saw. I'll get some slabs and then I'll bring them back in here and show you what they look like. The slabbing's all finished. How did we do? Did we get a good agate? Remember, this is from the Woodward Ranch out in West Texas, a ranch that is no longer accessible to rock hounders. This is what we saw on the outside. Looked like there was going to be some pretty stuff on the inside. Let's see, what does it look like? Well, that's pretty. I hope you agree, that looks like a beautiful, beautiful agate. But this is just the end cap. Not much we can do with that. Well, throw in a tumbler. Let's check the first full slab. How does this look? Wow, that's some pretty stuff. I hope you agree. Now remember, this came from the Woodward Ranch near Alpine, which is no longer accessible to rock hounds. Boy, I wish I were around when they were letting people hunt this property. This is some good looking stuff. Just imagine the cabochon I can make from that area right there. That's cool, that dark area there. Or is that just left over from the saw? <laughs> that was just left over from the saw. Still cool though. Let's check the next slab. Ooh, very pretty stuff. Looks like flowers in there to me. What do you see? Flowers surrounded by almost waves. Like you can imagine they're in a pond and the waves are just rippling away from the flowers. Super cool stuff, right? Ooh, look at all that detail. Wow. That's awesome. Let's check the next one. More of the same, which is a very good thing in my opinion. Oh, I could not be happier with this one. Wow, look at that right in there. Those Doesn't that look like flowers, looking down at flowers with the petals off to the, the, the sides surrounding the, the center of the flower? That is just stunning. I should call this a flower agate. And of course, the banding around it. Wow. Okay, one more full slab. What do we see here? More of the same, more of the same. Thank goodness, right? And notice it doesn't appear to be too fractured. So when I do go to make cabs, this should hold up nicely. I imagine it will take a great polish. Let's see what we have left here. Hmm. What a pretty looking, whatever you want to call it, flower, bush, you decide. Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I could probably cut this in half and then tumble both sides. So you may see this in one of my cut and tumble videos. I think to get that tumbled smoothly and polished brightly would be stunning. All right, it's time to grade this one. What are we thinking here, my friends? This is a pretty special agate in my opinion. The Woodward Ranch agate. 
I got to give this one a solid A. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you liked this slabbing video. We had a winner this time, no doubt about it. What a stunner. I'm going to have to get my hands on more of this Woodward Ranch agate. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this, please check my playlist because I have lots of these slabbing videos now with all kinds of different rocks. Well, mostly West Texas rocks, but there are some others thrown in. Thanks again for watching.